Hey guys, in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about testing expectations and what you can do to make sure that you get all the points you deserve on exams. So before test day, please make sure that you have done all your homework, you've practiced, you've, you've asked questions if you have them, and you've done the chapter review. Remember, if you do the chapter review in my math lab with at least an 80% before taking the test, I'll give you extra credit on your exam. That's one going to help you review for the test. You're going to see all the types of problems on the review that you are on the test. And then two, you'll earn extra credit. Okay? Um, make sure that you're being careful with the due dates. Um, there is a calendar on the home page. I highly suggest you print off that calendar so that you're aware of when all the exams are due and that you schedule a time to take the exam before the due date. That way, in case there's any issues, um, you have a chance to take it before it's due. There are no late exams, there are no retakes, so please make sure you're paying attention to the due dates so you can take those exams before it's due, okay? Um, you are only allowed one attempt at the test. So as soon as you open the exam, you have to complete it. So please do not open the test. It will say, chapter 11 test, do not open until you're ready. Don't open it until you're ready. Because as soon as you open it, the timer will start and you only have the one chance at that exam. Okay? So please be careful with that. So there is also a time limit on each exam, so you need to be aware of that. It will count down as you start the exam, so make sure that you're being careful with your time limit and making sure um, that you complete your test in that time limit, okay? All right, the day of the exam. Please make sure that you plan some extra time to make sure that you're all set up and ready to go. Make sure that the exam is due at midnight. You don't start at 1130. Make sure that you schedule enough time to be able to use all the time and complete your exam. Make sure that you have all the materials, the appropriate materials that you're going to need. You should have some sort of a calculator, whether it's a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator, you're allowed to use a calculator on all exams, so make sure you have one of those with batteries and everything. Remember, you're allowed to use one three by five card, so as you're going through the homework and the notes, make sure that you write some pretty good stuff in here because you can use one three by five card on your exam, okay? There also are a few um, chapter exams that you have an additional formula sheet for. So if you look in Canvas underneath the modules, there are certain chapters. Where is one? Here we go. Look at chapter 12. It says you can use this on the test. So there is a chart that you're allowed to print off and use that on your exam along with your 3 by 5 card. I think there's another one in chapter 8. Do you see the chapter 8 formula sheet you can use during the test? So you can print that out along with your 3 by 5 card as you're taking your exam. Now be careful. Make sure that you're familiar with those formula sheets. You know where everything is at so that you don't run out of time during your exam. Remember there's a time limit so make sure that you're comfortable. Okay? Um, make sure that again you open the right exam. Um, and that you only open the exam when you're ready. You only have one attempt. All right, the last thing, really, really, really important, is making sure that you're showing all of your work. When you start your exam, you should have a separate sheet of paper out. You need to make sure that you label number one and you show all of your work for number one. Number two, you show all of your work for number two. You're very organized, you're very neat, and you show all of your work for all your problems. If you do not show your work, you will not get credit, even with the right answer. So it's really important that you're showing me all your work so you can get credit for all the problems that you've done. This is also going to help me give you partial credit. I know sometimes in my math lab, if you enter one little thing wrong, it marks you all wrong. What I'd like to do is go back to your work and be able to figure out all the stuff that you did correctly and give you as many points back as possible. But if I don't see your work, I can't give you the points. So it's really important that you show all of your work for all problems so you can get credit and you can get partial credit if you get the wrong answer. Um, let me show you some examples while I have you so you know what to expect, what not to do, and what to do. Here's an example of what not to do. You can see on these papers, number one, it's all in one picture. I'm looking for you to scan each page and put them into one document so I can see each page separately in one document, just like that week one assignment that we practiced. Um, 
Um, you can see on this assignment, this, I can't see number one. I don't know where number two is at. I don't know where number three is at. It's all over the place. This student got a zero on his exam because he didn't clearly show his work. So please make sure in order to get all the credit you deserve, you show all of your work clearly organized um, like we've practiced in the notes and in that week one um, assignment. Now here's a beautiful example of what I'm expecting. You can see number one, that there was no work shown. Number two, she has all of her work. Number three, she has step by step how she got all of uh, her answers. Number four, she's shown all of her work step by step so I can clearly see where she got it from. This is a beautiful example of what I'm looking for in order to earn full credit for the right answers and partial credit if for some reason you get the wrong answer. So please make sure in order to earn your credit, you're showing me clear organized work. Also, remember that it must be scanned and submitted within five minutes of completing your exam not 30 minutes, not an hour. It's important that I'm consistent and fair and that everybody turns in their work within five minutes or you do not get credit for your exam. Please don't make me the bad guy. Please don't say after the fact that you didn't know um, or you forgot. You need to make sure that you turn it in so you can earn credit for your exam. Exams are important. There's only five of them. They make up a majority of your grade, so it's important that you do that so that you don't earn a zero. Make sure that you clearly take a picture of each page. Make sure that you compile it into one document, like that week one assignment that we practice, and make sure that you submit it. You can see for each um, chapter, there is a required assignment where you're going to submit your chapter 11, your chapter 12, your chapter 8 work for full and partial credit within five minutes of completing your exam so I can get you all the credit you deserve. Okay, I know that was a lot. If you have any questions, please reach out before the exam so that you can make sure that you get all the points you deserve. Okay, all right.